In this video, we will be showing you how to configure the KNX connector. The first step is to open the App Launcher menu, go into the Settings app and click on Extensions. Then scroll down and search for the KNX extension, click on it and click Enable. Then reopen the App Launcher menu and launch the DB Builder app. Now go ahead and expand the connectors tree, expand the KNX node and then select the project section. Here we can upload the project that we'd like to use with the KNX connector. To do this, select the upload button and upload the project file that you want to use. The uploaded file should now appear within the KNX projects view. Now we can click on the KNX node in the connectors tree and then click on the add button to begin adding our KNX connector. This will bring up a new form to assist in adding the connector. The first option allows you to specify a display name for the connector. The second option allows you to select a project that you'd like to use with the KNX connector. The third option allows you to modify the URI. When modifying the URI, you can start off by adding a dash after the KNX to specify the driver to which you would like to use, and then modify the host text to display the appropriate host and port for your KNX connector. Once you are done inputting the necessary information, click Add to create your connector. Now that the connector is created, we can select the connector in the list view and click on the ping button to test the connection. If all is well, the state will show that the connector is open and that the status is OK. Now we will want to create a new equip in our equip tree to begin bringing in points from the KNX connector into our database. To do this, click on the equip tree and at the very bottom of the tree menu, click on the plus button to begin creating your database's architectural structure. The default structure begins with the site. So go ahead and type in the name of the site and click create. Then select the site that you have just created and click on the plus button to add a new floor. Name the floor accordingly and then click on create. Once again, click on the floor and click on the plus button to create a new equip. Type in the equip name and click create. Now we can begin by discovering points from the connector and adding them into the newly created equipment. To begin discovering points from your connector, open the connectors tree, open the KNX tree, select the connector you created, and then click on the discover points option. This will bring up a list of all the points that were discovered within the connector. From that list, you can multi-select whichever points you want to bring in by holding the shift or control buttons on your keyboard and then dragging them into the equipment you created within the equip tree. This will bring up a batch record editor. If you do not have any pre-saved libraries, feel free to go ahead and click on the cancel button to close the editor. Now you can see that the points have been added into the equipment and can view them by clicking on any point. The point view shows various details related to the point, such as the point's current value and the point's current status. We can also check the data from the point in FIN compared to the point in the KNX connector. For example, here we can see that lamp number one is on, and if we turn the value off in the KNX connector, the value turns off in FIN. This is a good way to test the connection. To command a point in FIN, simply select the point Click on the gear option on the top right section of the screen, select the action you'd like to perform, and hit apply to submit the command. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and perform a command on one of the blinds. So we can see that the blind is currently up. And if we command it down, we can also see that the blind in the KNX connector is also going down. We can also set the percentage of the dimmable lamp down to a different value by using the same method of command. Now that the points are inside of FIN, there's a vast amount of different things you can do to build your database. One example is creating custom graphics that also allow you to command your points at a more visual level. In this example, we've created a graphic for the blinds, and from here we can set the blind up and down and also change the percentages on the blind, all from the graphic.
Another useful feature available to the KNX connector is that when you discover points and you see the list of discovered points, you can select a point and click on the edit data point option, which will allow you to change information within your KNX project through FIN. These are just a few examples of how easy it is to bring in your KNX data and apply the powerful features available within the FIN framework to enhance the user experience. We hope you've enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to create a KNX connector. Thank you for watching and don't forget to have yourself a fantastic day.